Well, another weekend, another hotel room, and I'm coming to you from Greenville, South Carolina. I'll be here on Friday night, then on Saturday, going up to the beautiful city of Asheville, North Carolina, to have a meeting at the church of my very good friend, Pastor Vlad. And uh, he's also a graduate of our school, been involved with our ministry for a long time. And then the next weekend, no seminar city. I'm going to be in Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona for personal spiritual encounters. So get one scheduled now. It's my wife's birthday that weekend, Laura's birthday, so I'm going to be staying home that weekend. The following weekend is an encounter weekend in the Los Angeles area, and I'll be meeting people in Burbank near the airport, so get scheduled for that one. But I want to talk to you for a couple of moments about the evil images of Halloween. You know, it's that time of year, all the merchandisers trot out the images of ghosts and goblins and vampires and bats and skeletons and death and witches and coffins, and it's all bad. We're just literally bombarded with this stuff. You can't get away from it. But the real question is, is there any danger to it? Is it a bad thing? Can it actually hurt you as a Christian? Well, I don't want you to think if you walk through Walmart and you go through the merchandising section for Halloween and you see a witch's wardrobe that a demon is going to jump out and possess you. That's not the point. I think there are a couple of dangers to this evil imagery. One, the spirit of fear. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God doesn't give us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind. Now notice that the apostle uses the word spirit. Now most Christians think, well, that just means an attitude of fear. I don't think so. There's a demon of fear, and it's one of the most powerful demons. He is a doorway demon. He guards the door. And if you've got a demon of fear, he lets a lot of other nasty demons in. So you don't want fear in your life. It's the antithesis of faith. And remember, Hebrews 11:6 6 says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. The other problem I have with Halloween and the evil imagery this time of year is that it tears at the moral fabric of society and our Christian homes. Philippians 4, 8 says, Think upon these things which are true, honest, just, lovely, of a pure report. That's what we need to be thinking on, and Halloween does not represent any of those things. As followers of Christ, we need to have a positive image about our lives and our witness, hope, love, faith, family, all the things that are good. So if you've got any of the imagery of evil and Halloween in your home, get rid of it and project a positive image of a witness for Jesus Christ, not the evil images of the devil this Halloween season.